speak on the issue of human rights, the right of the child to be human. For the children today are the image of future humanity. And when we nurture and cherish our children, we are in truth recreating humanity. The subtle yet awesome power we can wield to shape not only the quality of our lives, but also that of future generations presents us with a crisis of choice. Shall we continue to ignore and neglect two-thirds of the world's children who are now hungry in pain and ignorantly languishing in physical and moral decadence and poverty? The children of the poor countries do not come here to beg. For human beings are not naturally selfish. To those who are really human, sharing is not a responsibility, but a manifestation of the truly human attitude of compassion. Recently, at the initiative of the United Nations under the enlightened leadership of Secretary General Kurt Waldheim, with the active and tangible support of the United States of America, and nations, and many others, join in concerted action to extend a helping hand to the so-called boat people and other refugees. The majority of these refugees are children. This is an example of human concern that inspired us in the Philippines despite our own problems, limitations, and difficulties to offer the Philippines to be a nation of first asylum for about 50,000 refugees.